Alright everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Cinemine. I've upgraded our uh, Batania setup a little bit. This now, uh, if we put in some burnable stuff, it drops it straight down to this plate. If there's something on the plate, it doesn't drop, otherwise it would drop. But there's nothing in here now, so it doesn't drop, and then these two will burn it up and fill this mana pool. And then I got thinking, we have a whole lot of mana pools now, all of a sudden. Because I have made a mana battery. So what basically happens, I've turned it off now so you can see it. If I point this mana spread into this pool, it will start sending over mana. And it will make its way through this whole setup into this mana pool. But since that makes a whole lot of noise, I'm not going to do it during the episode. And yeah. But then like... Uh, if this pool is full, it will fill up this pool, and then this pool, and then this pool, and then that pool, and then... Like, it will snake its whole way through. And that's what I call a mana battery. And the mana battery is, like, good in a way that some crops just use an absurd amount of mana. So, if we then have a lot of mana in store, we could easily uh, do the crafts. But the amount of mana that I have now is from like six stacks of coal, something like that. So that's quite the expensive way to generate mana, actually. So I got—I was thinking, I at some point had found out these flowers. And if you would use this setup that they show here, it's infinite mana. It generates it infinitely. Which is cool. So I don't want to get rid of this setup. But what I do want to do is I want to... Um, as in this. I want to replicate the setup. So that's three blocks. Let's see. One more. There. 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 And there. There, there, and there. Yeah, I'm doing this so it's like nicer to look at, in my opinion. Maybe. This should go. We also shouldn't forget lighting up the area because that will otherwise get bad. I don't want any creepers or zombies or skeletons. This needs to be a safe haven where I can easily just... Do my thing. Cool. Uh, also, this can go in there. Cool. Um. Wow, that's a dog. So let's get some water in full, shall we? Okay, we put water there and there, and then oh. And then we take water from there and put it there, and that should be an infinite source. There we go. And because of the way this is laid out, all four corners are infinite sources. So if we then would start making the flowers... Um, what was the recipe again? Hydra... Okay, here. Blue and cyan. So, we don't have a lot of both. Okay. That will go and make some of that. Blue and cyan. Cool. And we will just do the same as we did in like the previous episode where we multiplied the flowers. Right, we did it like this. Bone meal, chop them down. And then we're gonna do it with these eight. And that should give us enough for now of each type. And that was 
definitely not my idea of what I wanted to do. So mealing the grass. Cool. Um Yeah, sure. If we would throw that in a there, we would get a pasture seed if we need it to make greener pastures ever. All greener, just spread grass somewhere where no grass is. Which might be a thing we need to do. <coughs> um so we did it for one type of flower. Let's do it for the other flower. There, there, and and I would possibly not stop at four of those flowers. That's quite probable, to be fair. And take my bucket. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. So I really need to queue them in, okay? Now we take another bucket of water. Two, two, one. Two, two, one. Two, two, one. Okay, well, first we start off with this to just see how quick they would produce. Is that linked up? Yes, that's linked up. The bigger question is are those linked up? Because those don't have a you know, no mana spreader. Okay, so I would need to get some mana spreaders going to flow the mana around. Oh, that's not a few. That's like. Uh, how are we going to spread the mana? Like this, I suppose. Um, yeah, this is more difficult than I thought. We would also require other tool. <clears throat> we exactly have enough of that. Sorry for my coughing. So we could now hook this to that, this to that, and that to that, and it should spread mana. Yeah. Which is cool. Now we hook this one to there. And it wants to have more space. Oh, uh, less space between it. Okay. Fine. This goes to there. Okay, now this is shooting mana into here also. So, to see. Um, it doesn't go quickly, but this is free mana, right? So yeah, it <clears throat> it increases it a little bit, which is cool. But as I said, I need way more. So how am I gonna do that? Um. Um, 
because they needed at like this ring around it, right? So just the same as this flower, just these blocks. Just those eight blocks are affected by this flower. Hmm. Yeah, let's first make a few more flowers, then we could try to experiment with getting the uh, rest hooked up. Okay. So for now I'm just gonna take some block. And this is going to interfere with what I already have currently going on. But that's fine for now. Like that. Should give light. Good. Okay, that's an infinite source. So, if I then would do this which links to that mana spreader and I would do this which should also link to that mana spreader um Yeah, this also works. So why would you take the big design then over the small design? Let's just have a quick check. Oh, are there lifetimers now with these flowers? Could very well possibly be, of course. I don't know if this will work, but we will find out. But if there is a limited life spent to them... Hmm... And we might want to that was totally not where I was trying to place it. Well then um, never mind. Um So yeah, if it has a limited lifespan to them, I really want to know before I go AFK or something. Because they didn't stack anymore, right? So that usually tells that there's a limited lifespan. This would also eliminate the need of this spreader, by the way. Yeah, just did it in the right moment. Cool. So we uh, we have now two setups. This one seems to work. Takes up less space, so why would you do this one? 
that's not clear to me so far. So yeah. Let's try and change the design then so it's a smaller version. Um Because I'm not fond of overusing stuff if it's not needed. Alright, so this will eventually fill up this pool. When we have this on, it will fill up this whole bank. But as I said, I'm not sure if it's like these times, uh, I don't know, it could be passive generator, they will suck up any still water in a 3x3 three three area around it, on the same height creating mana from it. The amount they produce is comparable to that of an ender flame. They also seem to function fast during rain. Hydrogens are fleeting flora which will decay one hour of real world time. Ah. Uh. Overgrowth? Of growth, uh, not a piece of grass for right clicking. Well, so, flowers are rooted in John's soil, will function double speed as normal. There's one problem though no no method of creating these exist. They are ever been allegedly spotted historian in ancient structures and temples. Perhaps there would that would be wise a wise guess to as where they find. Um, so yeah, there's <sighs> that's not fun. So they basically nerfed it because of behavior like this. Um, so this will only work for one full hour. Well, that's not fun. Sorry, I, I was hoping for a little bit more opiness out of it. Um, so yeah, then we would get on trying to get Terra steel this stuff work for recycling is that a thing? that's cool that's really cool okay um the Terra Steel. Um, I wouldn't re need to read a book about Terra Steel then. Metro apparatus. What?
bubbles and the ports are all fine. Her overseer and stuff, okay. Mana manipulation, basics, functional. Where does it stay, say Terra Steel? Because I believe you need Terra Steel to open a portal to Alfheim. Yeah, right? I think you would need a portal. Uh, so, mystical items, overgrowth, is it in here then? Oh, oh, ah, here. Terrestrial agglomeration plate set on top of checkerboard pattern lapis, little blocks, and living rock. Mana needs fire block with sparks, most effective method. Okay. So that would require us to get these runes. Just click to the recipe. This one is not that hard, just an ender pearl and some iron. Shift click, carpet, feather, string, gunpowder, iron. Also not too bad. Also not too bad, mushroom, but of coal. Stone of water, also not bad. Stone of fire. Now the brick is easy, now the ward I don't have. Okay. Okay, that's also not hard. Uh, let's at least get us a mana pearl. That's just like that. And then also get us some extra of that living rock so botania 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 why is your setup powered anymore so now i would need to find a way to generate burnable stuff or something to put in there that is easy to set up because i'm lazy And okay, so this freeze this gets a lot more difficult than all of a sudden, which is fine by me, fine by me, but yeah. Uh, okay, so to get burnable stuff, what all is burnable? I know that mana spreads are already burned. Or drop crates, the upgrade. I already burned one of those. Um. Okay, we're gonna do this. And then how are we gonna benefit from it? That's by placing it down. Somewhere. For instance here. Uh, get ourselves a mana spreader. Removing that knock. Get ourselves a mana spreader. That thing on the wall right there. And then get our wand. Points to there. That should work. That is shooting into there, which now we can use this for crafting. Uh, and what is that thing called again? Runic Altar. Runic Altar. Okay, let's see an easy recipe that I can hopefully easily pull off.
Okay, now you will see this and this. We can put it on there, that on there. It required a fishing rod, which I know I have upstairs, and I need to get some reeds and bone life down here. Fishing rod, and I need to get some breed. But yeah, once you start getting Emptenia, then all that stuff is really needed. And mana is also needed. <laughs> that goes on. That goes on. And that goes on. And now you hear that noise. And I need to take this. Doing it like that. And now you see that progress bar. Like right here next to the X. If that is full. We right click with a wand. And it will generate the water rune. I believe this is. And there we go. Rune of water. So what I also like to do when you start doing stuff like that. Is get a chest next to it. That contains all the rooms. So yeah, my Botania setup is always the same basically. Well, I try to do the mana generation different each time. But, yeah, this version doesn't have as much choice in mana generation. So, these flowers will die off eventually. Um, which is an hour. It's 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 not bad, but it's not AFKable for me at the moment. I can, however, make it AFKable, possibly. With a possibility that is, because it is technically block updating all the time, so a bird detector does it work? Do I have some in my shoker box? No, of course not. Um, because yeah, if like we could figure out a way that it would uh. Generate me, uh, like put me down new flowers, and that's fine. And yeah. So we now have the rooms of water, which we could use for a rod of the seas that places water, as far as I know, with mana. But we also needed it for the terror steel. Terra, 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 that that this thing, terrestrial agglomeration plate. These words fill me sometimes. Spark augments. Um. Rod of depth. I don't know what that does. Generating flower. What is it? All sticky. There's some sort of unbeknownst power in the first create slimes at seemingly random spot slime chunks, they call it. It's a flower that has the ability to uh, tap into that energy if placed down near slime created by that power, it'll destroy it, collecting all the mana generated by entropy. The larger the slime, the more mana is created. It also makes for these 
Shit sticky mess. Okay, so that is a way of doing infinite mana. That would only require me to find a slime chunk. Oh. There's a form of magic of sorts. Rose Arcana can tap into it so energy plays on the ground around it, turning it into mana. The experience can also be acquired from experience orb in the world, not requiring the player to be in percent. This method, however, is less effective production wise. When the flower is planted, toss a coin. The thermal lily acts as the lava counterpart to the hydrogenous. Let's expect the flower will absorb lava around it in the same height as it to create mana. After absorbing lava, the flower will produce mana for around 45 seconds. After it stops, it needs a bit of time, around 5 minutes to cool down before it can absorb more lava. Okay. Um, generate blast mana my own effect TNT. What you should do is don't fire all the living materials. What you should do any leaves near the flower will get munched up and converted into mana. Uh huh. Okay, hmm, yeah, that doesn't seem direct. Like, this thing, I could totally see myself using it. The nar uh, the nar slimmiest, nar slimmiest, if I would find a slime chunk around here. Like, I'm more than capable of transporting the mana back and forth from there to here. And if there's a slime chunk, there's a high chance that it's going to be very effective. So why not? Only thing is finding a slime chunk. So for that we would need a slime in a bucket. Yeah, okay. That would require us finding a slime in the first place. Yeah. Well, I will do that off camera. I will do that in between episodes. Uh, no need in, like, bothering with that. And then probably when I find a slime chunk, I will do all that work off camera. Um, sorry that the episodes have been slow. Really slow at some point. Um, yeah. Just like my private life. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm really busy. So, yeah. Please hang in. Um, not bored with the series whatsoever. Um, so, yeah. We're just gonna, gonna take it. When time is there. Alright, folks. I'm heading out. Uh, leave a like if you liked it. Please like if you dislike it. Please subscribe if you really do love the content. And consider look. Uh, Consider also playing this mod pack. It's on the Curse Launcher. A uh, Twitch Launcher, I mean the Curse website, Twitch Launcher. So yeah, uh, people, have a nice day. Bye bye.